Bella 2019 is almost over. I decided to do my top 10 favorite and least favorite movies list. So starting off first is my top 10 favorite of 2019. There is a lot of movies that unfortunately haven't made my list that I really want to check out this year. Either because I just haven't had a chance to watch them or there was just other movies that I really enjoyed more. I have seen 115 movies this year so far so I really tried my hardest to really pick the top 10 that stood out to me the most and that I loved the most and was actually really difficult this year with so many great movies. So first off, I'm going to do three honourable mentions. These are Bright Burn, 21 Bridges and Fighting With My Family. I loved all three of these movies for very, very different reasons as they are obviously from very different genres. And if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend checking out all three of these movies. They are fantastic. So starting off with number 10 is Avengers Endgame. Now throughout this whole decade and even before, I really enjoyed these Marvel films. I was wondering how they would end the phase and whether we would have complete closure. For what they gave us with Endgame, the fact it's three hours long, they did an incredible job, but because of the ending and two of the main characters with how they decide, or three actually, with how they decide to end their story, I didn't appreciate kind of how they treated them since they've been there since the very beginning. So this is why it's number 10 and not higher on my list. I did love it. And it had all the emotional impact, it had comedy, it had everything you've come to love in a Marvel film. I was just really disappointed with the ending and that's why it's number 10. Number 9 is Green Book. I saw this movie at the very start of the year. Australia, I believe, got it late compared to America. So I think America got it last year. But for us, it was 2019. I loved Green Book. I was ecstatic. It won Best Picture at the Oscars. It highly deserved it. This movie was originally higher on my list throughout the whole year. It has dropped since then to, to number nine just because I don't have that euphoric emotion from it from seeing it for the first time. I really still love the movie and it doesn't say anything about that. It didn't deserve a higher spot. I just haven't had a chance to re-watch it but it still deserved the Best Picture nomination. I was still ecstatic it won. If you haven't seen Green Book, definitely check it out. It is one of the best movies I have seen this year, and that's why I made top 10. Number 8 is Good Boys. I loved this movie so much. It is beyond hilarious. I know a lot of people are like, oh, comedy movies should come beyond all these other movies. But this one was hilarious. I laughed all the way through. Seth Rogen did a fantastic job writing this story. It was just, if you haven't seen this movie and you love comedy movies, definitely check this one out. You will laugh so hard you cry because I did it multiple times and it's just one of the best movies. So definitely check out Good Boys. Number seven is Hotel Mumbai. So this one's based on a true story. I didn't actually know this before seeing the film. The trailer wasn't really shown much, so I just picked this random movies to go see. And I absolutely loved it. So Hotel Mumbai, a uh, hotel becomes under attack and the staff decide not to leave, that they're going to look after their guests. So the staff basically do everything they can to protect the guests. And it's kind of from the staff's point of view of this terror attack. It is a fantastic movie, it is emotional, it doesn't hold back. If you love true story type movies, if you love war based movies, definitely check this one out. This one flew way under the radar, it definitely didn't deserve it. It is a great, great movie that you should check out as soon as you get the chance. The next movie I'm going to talk about is Shazam. So this is number six on my list. I love DC movies, but going into this one, I wasn't too sure what to expect with this one. I was a little unsure about the casting at first. I love the actor, but I just wasn't sure what to expect with this movie since most DC films are so dark. I just, the trailer really threw me because it looked like such a more fun movie. Going into it, it was definitely fun. It is one of the funnest movies I've seen this year. It is one of the best DC movies I've seen this year. And I just really loved it. 
If you haven't seen Shazam, definitely check it out. They did such a great job with having such a diverse cast. They did such a great job in telling the story and involving the other DC movies into this kind of universe without overcrowding it kind of like they do with Justice League. And this is coming from someone that loves Justice League. They just try to do too much at once. But Shazam really pulls it off really well in being part of that universe, but not too much. The next film is number five and that is Ready or Not. I loved this movie and this movie has been hit and miss with so many people. So Ready or Not is a horror movie. Basically this woman marries into this family to become full part of the family you must play a game. Now someone who loves board games I was super excited for this premise and I really enjoyed this movie. Just based off the trailer and title, they do play hide and seek. If you've seen the trailer, it does give away a lot of the movie. So if you haven't seen this movie, watch it before you check out the trailer. And it's just fantastic. So very violent, really funny, surprisingly funny considering it's a horror thriller movie. Excellent performances. And actually the second movie on my list that has Adam Brody in it, which is fantastic. It's good to see him back in movies. So if you haven't seen Ready or Not, definitely go check this movie out. It's one of my favourites from this year that I can't wait to watch again. Number four is The Joker, or simply Joker. I love Joaquin Phoenix, and I probably just butchered his name because I always do, but this movie was fantastic. Going into it, I wasn't sure what to expect because I was trying so hard to avoid critic reviews, but it was impossible. Everyone was talking about such a fantastic movie, and I've learned that if a critic loves the movie, generally I hate the movie. So I was a little worried going into it, but I absolutely loved the film. They do such a great job in telling a different story, a different point of view than what we know, that what we've seen before. There is a lot of controversy and theories that maybe it's not the real Joker, maybe he's just the one that has motivated Joker and they're going to have this twist. But I don't believe that at all. I just believe this was such a fantastic performance. It was such a fantastic story. It has such an interesting perspective of society and how we look at mental illnesses. And if you haven't seen Joker, definitely give this one a look. I love every single actor that has played the Joker before, including Jared Leto, but this is probably my new standout performance. Heath Ledger will always be number one to me, but this definitely reached new heights that I was never expecting. So definitely, definitely check out Joker and believe the critics on this one. The next movie is Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Another hit or miss with a lot of audiences. A lot of audiences hate this film because of the different story Quentin Tarantino decided to tell. I wasn't expecting a different story. Based on the trailer, they didn't really show much of Sharon Tate, but you know what happened to Sharon Tate. So the whole time you're expecting this big ending, this gruesome ending, because the most of the film, it's just storytelling. It's a love story to Hollywood. You're not expecting such a gruesome end when you're getting towards the end. With a three hour duration, there's a lot of building. So once you finally get to the end, it's not at all what you expect. So a lot of people have hated on this film because of that. A lot of people have hated on this film because of how he treats Bruce Willis. Oh, Bruce Willis. Bruce Lee. Too many Bruce's. And it's just crazy because, as Quentin Tarantino said, if he wants to make a character that can kick Bruce Lee's ass, why not? Like, he is making this story. He is making this universe. As much as a fan of Bruce Lee, I am... This is a fantastic movie. I love the story he decided to tell. I love the violence. I love the gore that comes towards the end. But most importantly, I love the story and the performances by Brad and Leo. And you should definitely check out this film for them because, wow, they are incredible. Number two is Danger Close, The Battle of Long Tan. Now, I gushed about this film when it first came out. I love this film. It is an Australian film. The cast is full of Australians and New Zealand actors, and they do such an incredible job. The story is incredible. One of my gorgeous co-workers actually bought me the DVD for my Secret Santa gift. I'm still so excited that I have it on DVD. I can re-watch it whenever I want to because I just love this movie so much. 
If you haven't seen this movie, definitely go check it out. Not only is it brilliantly told, the performances are brilliant, the cast is brilliant. It's just such a wonderful movie and it's so high on my list. This is always going to be number one, but there was no overlooking for this movie for me. It had to be number one and that is John Wick Parabellum. We know how much I love John Wick. We know how much I love Keanu Reeves. There is no way that any other movie was going to beat John Wick. And that is my top 10 list. John Wick Parabellum is a fantastic action movie. I love Keanu Reeves and him as John Wick, it's back to Keanu. He's back on top. The fact that John Wick 4 and The Matrix 4 coming out on the same day is such a stupid idea, but I'm so freaking pumped for these movies. If you have not seen these movies, please check them out. They are fantastic. I love them so much. So to recap, my honorable mentions were Brightspurn, 21 Bridges, Fighting With My Family. Number 10 was Avengers Endgame. Number 9 was Green Book. Number 8 was Good Boys. Number 7 was Hotel Mumbai. Number 6 was Shazam. Number 5 was Ready or Not. Number 4 was Joker. Number 3, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Number 2, Danger Close, The Battle of Long Tan. And number 1, John Wick Parabellum. Thank you as always for watching my reviews. I hope you enjoyed my list. Comment below your top favourite movies of the year. Whether you agree with my list, whether you disagree with my list, let me know what you think. My next video, of course, will be my least favourite movies of the year. And yeah, I can't wait to see what other movies come out next year. And yeah, I hope you all had a fantastic Christmas and have a great New Year's.